going into part three, Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, about snakes in the grass at the holidays. So we're going to focus in on the energy of the Queen of Cups and the Two of Swords. What do we do about this, trusted ancestors? What do we do about our intuition so we're not blindsided to the truth anymore, so that we're not hurt? <clears throat> we're not hurt anymore by family members that don't that don't really have your back, that just think that you're there and you're not supposed to say anything and be suppressed and Nobody cares about what's going on in your life. Mm. How do we avoid trusted ancestors? How do we avoid this two of swords and trust our intuition a thousand percent? So that we know that we are making all the right moves. That we don't feel like we're in the Five of Cups. That we need to feel guilty about leaving suppressors behind. What do we do about this? Combine the energy, trusted ancestors between the Queen of Cups and the Two of Swords. 13 and 2. Is 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How do we trust our intuition a thousand percent? Not look back, not feel guilty. If we had to speak our truth and say what we needed to say, be your own person, be confident, be independent, and I say, move on. Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are on the path to success bottom line and there will be those that will give you strangers meaning strangers don't count on your family members there might be a few family members here and there that will think you're just the greatest thing since sliced bread but that percentage is small. Not that that small percentage of those family members doesn't matter. They matter. But spirit is telling you, don't be blindsided anymore to people's antics. And you stay focused like a hawk. In on yourself. And that is it. This is the bottom line. Black and white. There's no in between. What is the reward? What is the reward, trusted ancestors? To walk away from toxicities, people in your families, the family members that don't have your back. What is the reward for putting, for somebody putting themselves first, being focused like a hawk, focusing in on their businesses, their dreams, their goals, whatever the case may be. What is the major reward here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is the reward? New plans. The reward is also going to be not being at a crossroads anymore with these Snake in the grass family members as well. Not being at a crossroads with them. And you making affirmative plans. And that three of wands energy would kick in after this. And you send the ships out. And don't be afraid. 
Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck. Cut them out. Because you have this butterfly energy, and that is all about transformation. You speak your truth. You continuously speak your truth. Trusted ancestors, what should we not be blindsided to? Give me a little bit more detail on this two of swords. One. Two. Besides the family and being the snakes in the grass, what, what is it that we need to see? The troublemakers. Prince of swords. Be in observation. Because you guys are spiritually gifted. Temperance. Your trusted ancestors coming in. Bottom of the deck with temperance. They have this over the rainbow moment here for you. And they will create the path of least resistance and ebb and flow. It is difficult to release and let go, you guys. Let's just be real, okay? It is very difficult to release a lot of anger. The thing about the Scorpio mindset, more specifically, and I'm not saying other zodiac signs don't go through this, but because of the way Scorpios are and how loyal we are, mm -hmm. Basically, we repeat the story over and over and over and over and over again in our mind's eye. How that snake in the grass family member treated you, if they were abusive. Try to wave their dominance over you like you're nothing. Like you're insignificant. That you shouldn't be heard. That you should be silenced. Stop giving loyalty to people who are not really truly loyal to you. It's not worth it. You have to be loyal to yourself first, okay? It may take you guys time if you're faced with a situation. I know I've been through this before, you guys. We rehash and rehash and rehash because the anger, and the Scorpio doesn't want to be angry. That's the thing. A Scorpio never really wants to truly be angry, But you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing a Scorpio. That stinger, it's not just one stinger that's going to come out. It's probably going to be like 10, like the 10 of swords. 10 stingers coming out of one scorpion. Because we're trying to protect ourselves. We're trying to protect our energy from... People that are rude, that are narcissists, that are these fake, false, holy rollers, mm -hmm. protecting yourself. And as much as you want, again, certain family members to give you all of this support, unconditional love, and they just accept you, but they don't, you call in on your trusted ancestors to bring you a replacement. Sometimes the good Lord above can bring in strangers that come from a better family. 
that be can become your family. It may not be blood related, but at this point, some of you guys are thinking, you know what, just because you're blood related, don't, I'm telling you, it doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Really. It really doesn't. What do we need to be more in observation of trusted ancestors? Of the snakes in the grass? What else do we need to be observant of? One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. To know when you're getting stuck, when you're in a stuck position. And troublemakers want to keep you hanging on. Hanging on for what? What kind of energy? basically stuck some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces yeah keep you stuck bottom of the deck eight of swords know when they're trying to keep you trapped or when they're trying to keep you silenced one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Seeing this in both directions. When they're freaking making you go restless, okay? When they're creating restless energy, you're thinking, you're rehashing the situation or the story in your head. But I saw this come up in the reverse. Trusted ancestors are saying, call on us so that you have a peaceful night's sleep. That you can lay your head down on your pillow knowing that you did the best that you could. Calling in your angels and your trusted ancestors during your dream time process to also show you where the path of least resistance is. And when you're in your waking state, you get up in the morning, you do your routine. Call in on them to guide you for the whole day. And to release you. Release you from burden. Release you from the heartbreak. Release you from the stress. That these Ogres, we'll say, have inflicted upon you. Yeah, courage and strength, bottom of the deck, sign of Leo or Virgo energy. Courage and strength. What else does the Queen of Cups want to say, trusted ancestors, in regards to this Two of Swords? Not being blindsided to the truth. And to make better decisions. What action, what steps does the Queen of Cups need to take to avoid two of swords? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Trust your intuition. Go silent. Go rogue. Trust your intuition. Beautifully poetic. What have I just been saying? There are no coincidences. When I do, yeah. They will get their karma, you guys, your family members that have hurt you, lied to you, been deceptive, pulled the rug out from underneath your feet. The ones who are conflict-oriented, the ones that try to suppress you, the 
The wheel's going to turn to the right for you guys, and the wheel will end up turning to the left for them. I'm hearing the song from Fleetwood Mac, Go Your Own Way. Go Your Own Way. Message from the High Priestess. One. Two. Yes. Have courage and strength. Trust your intuition. Strengthen your third eye. Strengthen your crown chakra. Message from strength. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll receive achievement and accolades somewhere else. Not from the family members that keep suppressing you, making you feel, look at bottom of the deck, three of wands, sending the ships out. You're going to get the accolade and the recognition and the achievement that you deserve from strangers, basically. And the strangers will become your best friends. You can love people from a distance if you want to. You don't have to see them. And think about it. Have certain family members reached out to you in the last 30, 60, or 90 days? I get it. We're all busy. But some of you, you guys, your phone never rings. It never rings for some of you. You're going to receive the achievement somewhere else. And, again, your trusted ancestors will bring in, you know, they'll bring in other people who will be like family that are going to show you support. The ones that are going to be on your side. Show us more about that, trusted ancestors. One, two, three, four, five, six. How will this achievement and accolade come in? Being a phoenix rising up out of the ashes. Sight of Scorpio. Major change transformation. Once you make a decision to end, because this is the death card, end toxicities, walk away, Transform your energy a little at a time. And choose not to be, again, stuck. Eight of Swords again, bottom of the deck. And also, to be that phoenix rising up out of the ashes, to rise above the noise. Sometimes there's days that you got to create noise in order to shake things up. And then you rise above the noise. The noisy gab gossipers, whisperers. Release, let go, and you call in your trusted ancestors to help heal you. To provide an, a new emotional cushion. So that you, so that the, any form of loneliness starts to drift away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. Rise above the noise. There's days where you need noise to shake things up. Tower moment. Unexpected turn of events. Your suppressors are the ones that are going to feel guilt, remorse, regret. Not you. It may feel like this sometimes, you guys. Like you're, like, you know, 
if they're making you feel like the bad one and you should be in shame and guilt and 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 you should be uh more respectful all of this you know what you guys there's been a lot of your family members that have disrespected you but they want you to be respective f them message from the tower one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen yeah Intuition about the meddling energy, snakes in the grass, people who are meddling conflict. The conflict, the conflict, the conflict. This is your, look, look. This is your powerhouse right now. Change and transform, Scorpio. Rise above the noise. Rise above... The meddling energy. Stop being blindsided that these people are going to change. They're not. No. And there will be tower moments for these meddling people. Grandmothers, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, friendships, whatever. Toxic relationships that aren't going anywhere. Message between the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. 13 and 2 is 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. Trust your intuition about the meddling energy, Queen of Wands. Some of you could have a parental figure that's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. That you need to be on the lookout for. For some of you. And also too, in order to be fair... To the Queen of Wands. It is also about manifestation. The Queen of Wands knows how to manifest. Some of you have had to do return to sender. All that energy that they pushed on you. You sent it right back for some of you. And somebody, some of you, I should say, did it 21-fold. Mm-hmm. 10-fold, 21-fold. Send it all back. How they made you feel, you sent that energy back. Because you're doing it to protect your energy. We don't need to keep seeing the Eight of Swords and being suppressed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Better offers are on the way for you. It's been slow, but when it comes in, it will be solid. Some of you guys are waiting in also, too, for an earth sign. Could be any sign. What is this reward for moving on from toxic family members? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That you're going to be sitting back up on your throne and be trusted and respected and admired by others. The Empress embodies all energies of all four queens. And trusting your intuition about a mother figure, more specifically, or a grandmother, 
or any family member for that matter. One, two, three. And that you have a new beginning, a big new beginning somewhere else. And for some of you, this big new beginning may be coming to, towards you guys in the month of March. Yeah, sending the ships out. Number three, again, it may take you guys a little while longer to emotionally move on from pain and hurt. The things that people have said to you, they've down knocked you, belittled you, saying that you're toxic, you're evil, or they told you to shut up. It's all going to get sent back on them, you guys. In the meantime, you work in on your creative process because that is also what the Empress is all about, creativeness. It is a choice. It is a choice to walk away from family members. You don't have to. But it may be very difficult to try to, you know, keep setting boundaries. Especially since we've seen the Five of Swords, we've seen the Eight of Swords. Very much, these people... These family members are highly conflicted. They're conflicted within themselves. Why in the world are you going to go the distance? Why would you go the distance anymore? You know? For people that are just going to try to keep suppressing you, making you feel like you're nothing, that you don't exist. That you should be silent. You shouldn't say anything. Not give too many opinions. Game over. Walk away, you guys. We saw that Eight of Cups. Walk away. Go rogue. Go silent. Go into prayer. Go into manifestation. Go into meditation. One more message from the Empress. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of confusion, you guys. Walk away from the snakes in the grass. Just do it. Your guys are going to be okay. I've had to do this, you guys. I've had to do this in the last 60 days and more recently within the last 24 hours. See, maybe some of you guys could have been in a situation like me. Maybe you were young. Maybe some of you are in your 40s. Who knows? Could be younger. Could be older. Don't matter. Maybe some of you guys moved off. Mo Maybe some of you guys moved away. And you're going to go make it out there in the world. You might not have had an exact plan of action. But you went out there in the world. You weren't trying to prove really anything to anybody. But only to prove things to yourself. Because wherever you were at, for some of you in this scenario, the environment wasn't very satisfactory anymore. So some of you had to make great changes and move away, go live somewhere else, to get out of a repetitive cycle or pattern that was not serving your highest purpose. And they all thought that you were probably going to be back in three months. Well, yeah, let's see if he or she makes it on their own. Some of you guys have been gone from your hometown in certain, for some of you, away from your hometown for quite a while. Maybe make your occasional trip back every now and then. But now I may be getting to the point were those little mini trips, is it really that much worth it? Is it really worth it? Maybe those of you who moved away and you sat at the Christmas table one time or the dinner table whenever. Maybe you've been gone for a year or two. And none of them asked you, wow, how, how's it going living out on your own? How, how, how's your life going? None of them asked you for some of you. 
None of them asked you what your plan of action was. No, nobody asked you how your successes were coming along. I've been through that. So maybe some of you can, might be in the same boat with me. I've lived in five major cities across this country. I am respected among my peers because I've been honorable and I've been trustworthy. Strangers will become your best friends. My dog is barking, so that's confirmation again. Do you guys really need this Seven of Cups? Do you need to be go through a torturing, emotional torturing experience? Uh, having to have, you know, everybody, those certain family members ignore you. You know, it's not worth it anymore, you guys. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and take care.